faves Kevin and Amali and with Azim on the ones and 96s. Keep it locked in with us for your daily dose of hot tea only on Win Media 98.9. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to another episode of Island Tea with your faves, Kevin and Amali. And it is Monday. Yay. And I hope everybody loves a Monday. That's sarcasm. Hey, boy. I like Monday when it's Juve. A Monday, Monday when it's New Year's Day. Mm. A Monday Juve. I like, I, like when it, I like when we get those extended holiday weekends. For the carnival season, like when Christmas fall on the Thursday, Juve fall on the Friday, and then you get a Saturday Sunday to catch yourself. Mm. But it don't really work because you know it's fit, in fit, fit. You know, in um, I think it's Japan, right? When when holiday when there's a work day that falls between two holidays, the middle day is automatically given as a holiday. Oh, so they try they try in Japan. Yeah, they call it they call it a citizens' holiday. They transfer it to the, the to the w- before the weekend or after the weekend. It don't matter. Like <coughs> if there's like let's say there's a holiday on the Monday and one on the Wednesday, the Tuesday automatically becomes a holiday. They just get it three days. And that makes sense. Oh, so they don't they don't they don't take the Wednesday back. They leave it and add a holiday. Yeah, they just sit there. The way that that makes so much sense. As a matter of fact, you know what you know when that does happen here, and they just be like, um, why? National Heroes Day and Independence Day. Where we don't just get all them days. Because National Hero yeah, Day is two, day, two days before or after? Two days before. before it. Yeah, just guess that. So National Hero Day will be a Monday and then Independence will be a Wednesday? Yeah, just guess. So there's yeah, National yeah. Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Just guess that. Makes sense. People, people in, the, in, in, in the private sector are going to be used. Nobody telling them don't go work here? Yeah? <laughs> 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 Nobody saying you can't work. It just that is you don't have to. Pe- no, but people, yeah, we don't, you don't have to. People, pe- if people go to work on holidays all the time. <laughs> what are you saying? And we owe a holiday. 
Like, it's alleged, but but I I don't. I, I feel don't like know. so af- the day after election isn't a holiday. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. What the holiday would be? Victory. Election. Victory. Victory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so it's only a holiday for those who won. <laughs> oh, no wonder I got it mixed up. Why can't election cool down? You should not vote Labour. You will not have to go to work. <laughs> oh. So we so we really had to order holiday. No, they might not nothing. Not for election? That's okay. what you're talking about. Yeah, not necessarily. I don't, I don't even, I don't even think like that's a thing. You got all people holidays? Just say yeah, man, get next year. <laughs> <laughs> no, same thought, time, I same day next year. Which sucks. Like, why wouldn't you just give the citizens a rest from that experience? From what? Stand up in a line? Yes. To vote? Yes. Mm. Mm. I just need a, I just need a rest when I go fet to stand up. Yes, actually, Kevin. I don't know. I don't know. It's not a Sunday. Did they have to do it as a walking day? I just get up and go straight And I don't understand why. What? Did they have to do it as a working day? Did they have to do it as so brutal? Honestly. And it was sleep, you know, it's about recovery. You have all You don't need to sleep, you know, the sleeping issue is your body. The sleep is the body. Because your body is. You need to go make a soak and so. Like, that should be like a a, a national beach day. Like, you know, just send the whole nation to the beach to go soak. Like, after Walkerton? Right, yeah, is that yeah. how it is? Like, you literally go, go send the nation to the beach and then just let them soak because n- nobody foot working. <laughs> Some people missing toenails. Oh my gosh. You know, but you know what would happen, right? The day they have to juve is a holiday. It can be another fet. It can be another juve. It can just be another juve. juve. It can be like juve revenge. <laughs> y'all don't like to rest. Yeah. It's y'all problem. Y'all don't like to rest. In the Christmas, Jade, I mean, in the carnival Jade, season. Please stop this hypocrisy. <laughs> please stop this hypocrisy. You know, you sending those messages to a fucking in the morning. <laughs> so, trust me, plenty was happening in January. Indeed. Bye. The week, the week after carnival, you can't get nobody to do nothing. Nothing more for dinner. Yeah, everybody yeah. just. Uh, just everybody already broke. But tired. that's what I'm about to say. I don't think it's because they're tired. I think it's because they don't have any it's money. Because they're tired, though. Yeah. And I know the others are feeling the same. I, I'll be worn down. And mm. I got a flow. Mm. Mm-hmm. I got you. I got you. Remember January, the, the, the nation, they be sick uh, <laughs> as a collective. Yeah. As a collective, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just, nah, we just, we just. The, uh, immune, the, immu- <laughs> the immune system of the nation is, is totally corrupted. We locally. Oh, if you want to wipe us out, just send some sugar by your sugar country in January. Locally, pop that. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. It's over. It's biological over. warfare. Biological yeah. warfare. <laughs> warfare. Mm. So I make Corona? Because we kind of came February, so we are ready for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mix up again. Mm-hmm. Not just that main thing, the, 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 the yearly flu will going to come on this year. Mm-hmm. And if it Ooh. does, it's going to be very, very mini, mini, minimal because yeah. we are so safe. Somebody got the flu and can come on at the same time, man? What? Mm. what was your favorite name? Because we you know, you know, the, you know the Ketishan flu. The Creep Up. The Creep Up. The Creep Up. favorite name was Creep Up. The Creep Up. The Creep Up was my favorite name for it. The Creep Up. Every year it gets a name from a song. Right, The Creep Up. Um... But my favorite, the creep up. The creep up. The creep up was the it was the perfect name, and I think that name should be the standard. <laughs> is the creep up every year? I think it should be the creep because it's it literally the perfect fit for the name. Yeah. Because you fit, 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 fit. And then one morning you wake and up. And one morning you wake up and you're just gone. I can't taste anything. You're just gone. <laughs> your, your nose gone. You 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 can't eat nothing because your throat all yeah. dry and scratchy and. Yeah, you try to swallow something and you just wondering like, why is this so painful? The you're coughing and tears in blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's the creep up, honestly. So I think it should be the gold standard for the name. What's some other good one? Is that the DCH? Um, the and the actors sound like a the like, like a virus, which one? Yeah, the DCH. Yeah. What else we had? Creep up. They'll call one the doggy one. Remember, yeah. we had the turkey killer. It was the turkey killer. The what? Who had that? The year when he had the turkey killer song. The turkey Which killer song. song. Chantel, I got mash up your turkey? Yeah, they had called Chantel, the turkey, the turkey dead? Um, Apparently, it wasn't only the turkeys getting mash up like you buy. <laughs> what are the names? Also, throats. Creep up was mm. still the best. Um, Side note, right? You see how we were talking about people that should be on the top ten list of most influential. What, what the list was called again? Characters, characters top ten characters. Top 10 how characters, we forget I Jeff? Oh yeah. Randomly, yeah. I was in Mickey Chee yesterday, and I was like, oh, "Where is Jeff?" Hey, he's man, at, please for dollar. He's at the Cardin Home. Oh, he's not in the streets anymore. No, no, he's at the Cardin Home. Y'all yeah. made Jeff famous, you know? Like Jeff yeah, used to Jeff do was, stage shows, you know? Jeff was yeah. famous. Jeff used to push us for dollar, so. Normal. Stage shows. 
Yeah, you go to you go to the show and when watch when he man had come out, right? When a song had come out. <laughs> you couldn't keep a you couldn't keep a party and Jeff in on it. Yeah. yeah. And then they would bring Jeff to the fet. Mm-hmm. To put him on stage to do it. Yeah, he was looking good and so. Yeah. I'm glad I'm glad though he's not on the streets anymore. Love to see it. Yeah. So. I think, um, I think he. I think Jeff would be, <laughs> before to be on the street though. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think so. One of the, another top ten character would be um. I think we'd have called him Iron Man. I can't remember his name right now. Oh, okay. the guy from Newtown. From Newtown, yeah. yeah. Iron Man. Iron Man. I saw you saw the interview. Yeah, the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw the interview. No. Yeah, yeah. You need to see that. Like it's mm-hmm. very eye opening. And in a good way. Yeah, like yeah, he's he's very articulate. Mm. Like he's very articulate. He's very. Smart. Yeah. Mm. He, pro- he probably would never catch corona. Oh, he, he, he probably catch nothing. Immune. Yeah, yeah. I think he's Wolverine. He probably. Vi- <laughs> he probably <laughs> Vincent Buffetrina. The man literally named Iron Man before there was an Iron Man. Uh, thing is one to him. They got further that 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 into bodybuilding and so I think he named Lion. Oh, Lion. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh. Yeah, yeah. Co- won't the corner there by seven there? That's what we talk about, yeah. That's what we talk about. Is it us? Mm-hmm. Iron, Iron Man. Hey, learn him. Probably not to both. us. Not to my job, but I know him as, I as Iron Man. I found you, though. I know him as Iron Man. Okay. I stand collected. The one who lived right there uh, and always got t shirt off and the wearing and black pants. Would, uh, wouldn't you, Kevin, if you look like that? You if must be immune to anything. And just go off your shirt? Like... Like, but if I look, I mean, wear no clothes, but I would love to know. I wonder if I have the... Like, wait, I would love it. to know how I old this man is. He said his age on the interview, you know, how old yeah, he was by. I don't remember, but go and watch the interview, it's on YouTube. I don't remember what it's called, though. I'll go and look for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I got the link somewhere. I think the key to, 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 to look in that way, and probably because he don't look old to me at all. The key Kevin, to that he's is looked mind- that way since I was a child. Exactly, and mm-hmm. the key to it is minding your own business <laughs> and working out. And drinking water. And drinking water. Hmm. Cheat code. So it's not what Banky Bank said. Which... <laughs> Sea water. Cigarettes and whiskey? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. With what? what? Weed. Minding your business. <laughs> Weed and, 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 and whiskey. It's just minding your so business and drinking water. Weed and whiskey. Weed <laughs> <laughs> and whiskey. <laughs> Angulo. Or Mary Banks' father. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I need to play Banky Banks this morning. I'll play one. Yeah, we can queue up one. Any little interesting articles there for us? Yes. Before we go to... Tita. What was this? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I like your shirt. Because it fit? And it, the color. But it fit really nice for real. I know, because I'm The little food it. poisoning we would you buy. But yo, hey, eh. hey, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Amali, are you willing to do it the Kevon's way? I tell you now, just lick a raw chicken. Go? Are you willing to do it the Kevon way? Just lick a raw chicken, a little salmonella, and you're good to go. Me as you are killing. Oh, listen, do I? Or, or, or really, we were saying he looks so nice in his shirt; it fits very well. Yes, he's quite, he's quite stunning. And we were saying mm-hmm. if you want to do it the Kevin way, and then he said lick our chicken. No, I no, no, that's a, that's a touch of food poisoning. I don't that's know. Right. He will kill you because mm, I don't think if he looks. That's a touch of food poisoning. Yeah. I rather go walking in the morning. Huh? Walking in the morning. You morning. gotta have. You have to have food poisoning for a week. No. <coughs> Seven <coughs> pounds automatically gone off your life. Okay, they eat food poisoning if it doesn't involve vomiting. The, the diarrhea I can handle. Kevin, did vomit. you vomit? Mm, yeah, but not much. See, I'm early. I can't yeah. take a vomit at all, you know? <laughs> you like, I'm turning to a baby, you know? Yeah, vomiting is I, not fun. Yeah, I, I can't remember the last time that happened. I, 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 yeah, I had that. I avoid vomiting you know, at all costs. I, can't, and, and I don't want to ever experience it again. And that's one of the reasons why I drink responsibly now. I mm. va- vomiting is the most... Ex- no. Um, I vomit so much that... <laughs> Nothing left in your stomach, but you're still vomiting? Yeah, it's just bad. Oh, it just dry, dry, the dry, the dry, the dry, yeah, the dry heaved. Oh. That's most people experience after I think bit. the worst part is when you, you, <laughs> when you're ready to give up, and at this point, you just got tears in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't, you can't tell stop, because you can't just, stop, yeah. you, you're crying, you're you no sweating? Snotty, you're sweating, <laughs> so it's just a lot, and you're just ready to give up. This is like an after experience. You're ready to give up. After cool effects. Why? All right, what was the most, right? That, 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 your, your, your chest bone... For like you're caving in. Hurts. Mm-hmm. Like, like even like days and days and days that was, after. That, you, know, you know what? Like that when that was my experience hurts. when I was pregnant. Like I cried so much because I was like, what you want from me? Like I am empty. Your soul. <laughs> you're, you're talking about the morning sickness? Yes. Your soul. I had every hour sickness. I didn't even have morning. You were sick all the time? All the time for a full three months. Yeah, and I went to the doctor. 
to get an injection and it worked for a couple hours. And then it just stopped. And then my sickness was more than it. It's like, that day you want to bring to me, girl? That day you want to bring to me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 my sickness just punk up that, that, that injection. So, when, when you're going again? Ever? Yeah. Never. Sorry. Oh, never. One and done. But Jaden is alive. One and, and done. Well. One and done. Jaden is a what? Alive and well. <laughs> they always said this, yeah. He has cousins. <laughs> he has. I see why some people have one child. They I, always said this, I'm I fully agree. They always said this. Have you ever given birth? But you know what he takes? No. No, but me ain't saying me ain't say nothing. Me, you don't want to. I don't, I don't think no, my brother had a good No, I don't want to. Honestly. No, we can't. We <laughs> 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 you know what happened? Then it's for in love. Uh, all of a sudden, you know. Okay, yeah. well, one more, it won't hurt, you know. Bro, this is what has, this is really what has happened. They go along, they go along life, loving their, their, their only child and thing. And then about three to five years later, they see a nice, cute little baby in somebody's arms. And, it started, it and then they ask to hold the little baby and they hold it in their arms. And then the womb start calling out to them. <laughs> Feel me. Feel me. Fill me. Fill me up. Fill me up. <laughs> and then it's only a matter of time at that point. Yeah. It's only a matter of time. Yeah. Bye. Lost my friends to screaming us. Okay. Um big up to the one savage one time. <laughs> <laughs> um so let's talk T. He he. Let's talk. <laughs> that was already ring tone. <laughs> oh, no, I press play on my phone by accident. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk about some, one, some, one, some, one. Some, <laughs> some complaints that are happening in, in, in St. Nevis. So, after repeated complaints are uh, ignored, Half Moon Bay residents are staging a pothole protest. Um, a resident of Half Moon Bay took to social media to express his deep frustration that his complaints about massive potholes in the area have been ignored for close to two years. Um, the Win Media team understands that there's a team from the public works department that contacted the man on Saturday morning asking, is this man in the pothole? Is this the man in the pothole? <laughs> <clears throat> he was reportedly told that the team had instructions to fit, fix the road just after Christmas. But honestly, it have y'all ever dri- driven to Half Moon? I haven't, s- I haven't seen the video. Look here, we cannot talk about Half Moon because Azim <laughs> doesn't have a road. Well, yeah, but have y'all ever driven to Half Moon? Bro, yeah, me yeah, want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I, 30 years I looking for a road, G. 30 years I looking for a road. I can't get a road. Every time, ta- like, government come, government go. Like, <laughs> promises are made. I still ain't got a road. Still ain't got a road. <laughs> like, how you? He needs to do a road. At least you have a road to get a pothole in. Protest. Move your house. <laughs> All that. Well, apparently that day in style now. People <laughs> in the house, I'm just moving into. But honestly, for you, I don't even know how you manage because I know heavy rains and how you manage. Because heavy raids and the car out the path, the little, little drive path you got. But I know, the thing is, right, they're doing this thing now where they, they're taking the asphalt that they take off the um, airport runway and like going in and up and train it down on the roads, them. They ain't helping nothing. So now we just got gravel? You just got this gravel that just moving. worse than the dust that moving because it don't. Yeah, they were dropping a bottle and the, the arm ring from soup um, from. Sonic just pop out the cap? Yes, ah. the other day oh, when my tire, the the right? tire bus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. And, 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 and your eyeball shake in the socket? Yeah. They need to fix the wood of St. Peter's, yeah. They need to fix a lot of roads. <laughs> because the whole of the country road, like one time I was driving to the country, and I kid you not, they won't pot holes. They're two issues. They're two issues. Well, yeah. I, mean, two that, issues. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that issue at least has been fixed. Like the main, the main road. The main, the, the main road, main is, road is, 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 is pretty, pretty is, sexy actually. Yeah. Hello. The St. Peter's Road is part of the LMA main road. Don't tell me the shipping is. <laughs> St. Peter's Road is St. Peter's Road. So, the there's two main issues as to why these potholes keep That's happening. That's why you're in the road. <laughs> I, would, I, love, I would love if they could start addressing them. One, there are big trucks driving on these roads with carrying items that fall off and dig out the road. Literally. Two, they're not sweet, sweeping the debris off the road. There's gravel and stones and all kind of tiny debris, especially like right by the roundabouts where the the divider mm, kicks mm. in. There's all kind of debris yeah. is in between there. And the thing is, when cars drive over the same stone multiple times, it eventually starts pressing into the asphalt. And then guess what happens when a stone gets pressed into asphalt? It creates a hole. 
science. But bro, bro, sweep this, the asphalt. Bro, what I can't understand, I can't understand how on Tuesday I drive past. Let's take for instance the the, the, the bypass road, the FT Williams, the highway, right? You drive past, had to do an invasive maneuver for a patrol, right? Come back on Wednesday. Public Works has done it, done it, done the deal. Went and filled the hole, right? Rainfall Thursday, Friday, the hole three times as big as it was on Tuesday. <laughs> hey, man. Because, dude, me no, understand. I was also part of it. Oh, filling the holes properly. Every time. But that's my point. Because you can't just drop some as far as in the it. hole. You have to cut out you the hole. You have to cut out, yes. You, you have, have to cut out the. You have to cut the hole and then you have to fill back the square properly. You have to like, you need to go for the books, man. No, listen, no, no. If, uh, listen, if people who work in these places just watch some Facebook videos in, at 3 o'clock in the morning, watch you know, to, you fix learn, learn how to fix a bottle already. No. Fix everything because yeah. it, honestly, Watching you have to cut out the road. You can't just drop some asphalt on it and press because it's not compact <laughs> enough, which is why you see the patched, patched roads sinking because it's not compact enough. Bro, the thing I just, just can't understand. You know what, I, what the other thing that I can't understand? Where the filler gone? Like the piece that come out of the hole? <laughs> like, where you gone? Oh, goodness. Nobody did everything about that? Like this is things like you're too busy trying to dodge a patrol. Were you thinking about where the piece for the patrol? Because I may want to hit the piece when I dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Have you that. ever? Is this that ex- exactly my point? It thing. don't be there. Massive hole and some huge this, hole. This like nothing there. It's some huge holes here. Yeah, and no, like you're gonna be thinking about it. That's a very good question. Like like where does like, like Joel is saying. Go? Like Joel is saying. Every week there's a new one by the stretch by Kyan Jet. The, the private terminal yeah that's what I'm telling and you and it's true yeah. there's this massive potholes but part of it is that they fill them and then they come back with a vengeance you have to cut out the pothole it's like the world got acne <laughs> <laughs> you pop one and 20 come back pop one and you just like <laughs> <laughs> the pothole them like here. <laughs> <laughs> it's true you, you pluck one and more come back bye somebody gonna fix it oh, yeah, 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 I potholes. feel like this this pothole protest Going to the no, the issue potholes will happen because the greatest roads yeah, in, in, yeah, in the yeah. world have potholes. But the thing is, when potholes happen, they are fixed properly, they are cut out, and then they are filled properly, pressed so they don't come back. When you just drop some asphalt on it, roll if or let the cars roll over it, which is a thing too, because they'll just throw the asphalt <laughs> and let the, the traffic roll over it. Well, I mean, it like I got wheels too. What's your wheels for? I know. Like they got other things to do. The road in St. Peter's, <laughs> <laughs> Honorable Sean Richards, needs resurfacing. That ain't part. That ain't part of the rehabilitation, no? It must be part of the main road. <laughs> mm. We have an east, west, and north. The north is St. Peter's. <laughs> <laughs> you're not laughing. It's true. <laughs> no, we're not there. The world is 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 in disrepair, like it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's bad for you. Well, at least oh you have my a word. word. Yeah, I think, <coughs> like I said, well, the work being done because I have to drive to the country very often, so it's like I have really appreciated, <laughs> really appreciated the work that's been done. Ex- Until you go home. Until I get to the road. Right, that the takes world on the east side is, is is beautiful. Oh, boss, I'm telling you. Did I finish on the point yet? Mo- if you go on Sunny Point yet? They yeah. finished Sunny Point yet? Sunny Point is no, smooth. No, yeah. You're crazy. No, 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 no. Sunny Point they finish. I don't think Sunny Point finish. No. Oh, okay. No. There's a f- there's a few places, but I think those are there's a re- there's reasons for that. Like they have to do some less on pipe or whatever, so they don't want to put down the road to dig it up and things like that. Mm. But, but, it, but oh, for, oh, for the most part, by? me. <laughs> the smooth. Yeah. Yo, Eric Cooper's out there and, and, and Eric Cooper's the main name realize. Yeah, yeah I'm mean, just sitting here by it. The roads are nice. <laughs> it's lovely. And then, you know what the thing is, too? You know, right, by flow grounds, if you come into flow grounds from town, well, from, from, um, like, I know what you're talking about. You know, there you was that. Wellington Road? Well, from Wellington Road. There was the railway track heading into the You know, there's that classic the railway track that you, you drop down into and then keep going. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone, yeah. 
I drop it still there, but ain't as bad. It's yeah, a, it's a little, 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 little dip. Little dip. Little yeah, dip. you ain't really got to. You ain't even got to really. Yeah, you ain't got to do. You ain't got to do. But I remember that sound so vividly because it's like. I actually miss it. Me too. Is is like. I want it back. We want back. We want back. We track. Just tell them to fill the road. You want them. The track was nice too. You know, it's also a part of the road issue in Saint Kitts and Nevis. The fact that the roads are not edged. Yeah. Because a lot of the places do asphalt is just there and then there's grass and then it's not edged so then it's it eat start out. pressing off and eating mm. away yeah. and the road start crumbling and then yeah. the side of the road becomes the middle of the road so and that's why whenever they play over a road it feels feel so much wider because they were out there before the edges just eat out over the over the yeah, years yeah, yeah. Just, so, it, just, it, just so everybody just driving closer to the center yeah start edging the roads and we're going now with the rest of the road though only part of the road paved them. Yeah. The top and the bottom in the middle. Hmm. By by partial school ain't paved. Yeah. Top and the by Sal. Sorry. It ends there by Alfredo's. Alfredo's, yeah. And then it, it's it picks up again by Craft House. Hmm. It's a very anyway. I don't know. Questions that needs answers. You know, we're gonna we, 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 we we're gonna just blame patches. Nah. <coughs> Can't even defend himself. Can't even defend that's why you don't blame him because all I can say is, <laughs> <laughs> if I had to put it back, I would have finished it. So I said, punishment. 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 No. And it's like, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, it's in your tone, but we didn't finish you. No, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. The man done move to Wellington, whoa, they got a sandy point, they got a date there, and just left your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling willful. I'll tell you the level of petty. Yeah, I am putting back in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Remember the soup not to and 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 sign the bell? Ah, it's not right for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Morning patches. Let me read. Ambassador. Check in the comments. Oh. My friend is saying I learned whenever I come to St. Kitts and I'm going to church, I walk with a flat pair of shoes to put on to cross the road. <laughs> when I reach in the church, I put on my nice shoes because the road smash up your good shoes. Wow. <laughs> well, clear good luck on 4th Street because 4th <laughs> Street ain't bad, but you gotta walk in the road because you can't there's, walk on the there's sidewalk. No, there's no sidewalks now. There's no sidewalks. There's just vendor stall vendor, spots. Vendor, vendor spots. Vendor um, spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, what is going on on YouTube? I'm going to let them continue that conversation by themselves. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. let's, let's take, let them be. Let's take a very short break. We did already. We did. We did. Yeah. yeah. We did. Um, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can't behave yourself on on YouTube. Honestly, I don't think it's possible. Anyway, it's time for a break. So let's take a very short break and let's come back to more Island Tea. On Win Media SKN. We'll be right back. WINN is 98.9. 98.9 is Win FM. Tis the season to save with Delayed Wallet and Caribbean Alliance Insurance. Purchasing a new car this Christmas? Save up to 65% off. Yes, that's 65% off your motor insurance premiums. Switch and save up to an additional 30% discount on your premiums. Visit us at Liverpool Road, Bastyr, St. Kitts, or Hunkins Drive, Nevis. Call 465-2631 or 469-5303. Promotion ends December 31st. Quotations valid until January 15th. Terms and conditions apply. Tis the season to save up to 65 Percent off. Protect yourself from the novel coronavirus. 
Wash your hands thoroughly and frequently for at least 20 seconds each time. Avoid shaking hands and touching your face with unclean hands. If you have to cough or sneeze, do so into your flexed elbow or a paper towel and then dispose of it. Keep a distance of 3 feet away from anyone with the cold or flu-like symptoms. Boost your immune system with vitamins, drink plenty of water and get adequate rest. Visit your doctor, the nearest hospital or health center if you or a family member becomes ill. A message from the Ministry of Health and the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA. Darkness walks behind me. Behind me. But he will never, 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 never control me. Today I live a life of sorrow, working for the joys of a bright tomorrow. Carrying my cross. Carrying my cross. Carrying my cross. Wisdom. Show me the right Guide me safely through the night Wisdom, show me I'm carrying my cross, carrying my cross, carrying my cross. Wisdom, show me the right. Guide me safely through the night. Wisdom, show me. Structure of your sister. My path is clear towards the goals I'm destined. For all in peril is not lost. And every man must carry his cross. I'm married. Wait, what time? What time are they coming? The time you definitely want to tune in to what's happening. You stay. You're gonna okay. stay, but you know, really turn up that volume at 905 and then stop doing your house chores and sit down and watch when the 905. Mm. But we're back. And welcome. So let's, I think we should just take about 15 minutes to abuse about traffic. <laughs> Why? Why not? Don't we do this all the time? <laughs> <laughs> we pretty much do that every week. Why not? Because we could do it on Thursday when it really builds up. I guess. Because mm. mm. a lot more things that happen between today and Thursday, you know? Trust me. You don't go nowhere on the weekend, so nobody does upset me. Oh, no. The only thing that, the only thing that really bothers me right now is them big truck with them big stone uncovered. Right, like 
I, 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 watch here, and I'm <laughs> I'm scared that what gonna happen again like drop on like a rental or something. Yeah. When the big stone drop on a rental. Because well, why do they do that? It isn't their law against that. Like they're not supposed to be covered. What? <coughs> like if a big. Yeah, I don't care if they're covered. I don't care if they're covered. They need to be a back on the truck. <laughs> like right. There's no truck back needs on the to truck. Be a, have to have a how back. Is the, how is these the trucks that carry stone and other? But you think the headlights need up? <laughs> you, you think they watch Final Destination? <laughs> Obviously not. Because and there's no they would signage. not do this. Because signage on <coughs> signage on big trucks should have an indication to tell you how far to stay back. Um, to tell you, you know, st- you know, um, Look, keep a f- ten well, ten foot distance. Well, if you see bonus the size of houses in the back of a truck and you want to do I yeah, step back. That's up to you. I step back, but you know. <laughs> but Maybe you want it's it. very <laughs> difficult to stay back. Uh, well, let me say to avoid the boulder. If you're going up a hill. And the boulder drop out. Cause as much as I'm back, the boulder is coming. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you if you and the, if you and the, if you and the truck going over to, to going up Timothy Hill, who can win the roll? Who can win the roll? If that truck if that big stone drop out, yeah, then it's a, then it's a, then it's a it Cause then you can grab a pothole. You got to and a pancake. Pot car. Hey, so it's that's, an obstacle that's, course. That's the thing that does scare me. Like when they go over like ditches and bumps and and you just see the truck look like that. <laughs> like that is what is scared me back. Yeah, like yeah, can we put, movie, man. can we can we regulate trucks having backs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they came with them. Like where does that? A boulder probably knock it off, you know. Like, yeah, and one you want to knock it back, and you knock off again too. Please stop doing this. This is ridiculous. Mm, mm. Wood have you built? Yeah, but like safety. And water breaks have you make? So I'm to safety. Look safety. This is, this is, this is, this is, we're in the tropics. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. We're going to move down here. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, all just a lot wild, of... Wild, wild West Indies. <coughs> the wild, wild West Indies is right. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of... Yes, yes. The other... I'm on... I'm on using Gaston. <laughs> but he want things. Gaston, so we are on the coat. I'm back. <laughs> Gaston, take high pants and back it up to the man. <laughs> <laughs> take me clothes. Take them. <laughs> this is the one. What? Yo, I feel like... Right? <laughs> <laughs> You see the video? Yeah. Yes, dude. Is the police at this side like PM? You know, we could see you. <laughs> the police had to go put him on clothes. And <laughs> put on <her> clothes. <laughs> I feel like the, Car- the Caribbean, <laughs> like, I mean, politicians are a whole lot funny, right? But Caribbean politicians? Why? Oh oh comedians. I am convinced, right? I'm convinced. And this is, this is going to sound harsh because I'm, I'm cordial. With so it's an honor, so you're going to serve? Mm-hmm. What's this year? What that do you mean? Maybe it sounded like a question. Like it, <laughs> it, wasn't <laughs> it wasn't a question. <laughs> he didn't realize it was a statement. It was a question. Right, you know, if, uh, okay. Yeah, the, boss, the boss don't talk. The wall don't talk. <laughs> the boss don't talk. <laughs> what do you guys think is the most char- charismatic politician we've ever had? Come on, come on. We've ever had? Come it's on. Easy. In the Caribbean. In the, in the oh, Caribbean. in the Caribbean? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Yes, then. Charismatic. I mean, t- charismatic. Member. I think Douglas got to be up there. Yeah. yeah I people I from other people from other islands like people from other islands like love Doug, yeah? Love. Like love. I want I want Dougie. Dougie definitely definitely has the gift the gift of gab. But I would But it, see, the, the I, thing I, is they have this diff- charisma co- but char- charisma comes in different flavors. Like that's <clears> the thing. For instance, like Michael but, Manley, so you listen to Michael Manley talk, like mm. it's, a, it's a different kind of like he he. he Mayor Matley is up there. Mayor Matley mm. definitely. Um. Hmm. So that whole lesson gets the name up there. Wait, they, they would yeah. have had to. They would have had to serve. <laughs> like they would have had to win a seat. Are we just talking politicians? Politicians. No. They're because then, because then, I think, I think, I think, I think more like like I'm like Abu Bakr in Trinidad. Eh? Mm. I haven't heard him talk. What he do? Me and I talk. The man literally <laughs> try over to the. He tried to go over to the country. Why? Watch it. Just go and just like go on YouTube and just type in Abu Bakr Trinidad and just watch this man. Like, yeah. Abu Bakr is mine. I, I tell you, I know. Hmm. But, yeah. In sync, it's with the top. In sync. Top three. Don't get more than that, Bradley. Top three. See, but that's the thing. It's different. It's a different flavor. It's two different styles. It's a different flavor. Because so if you're talking about, you, talk, you see, you said the gift of gab. Like they're m- way more quotables from the from Douglas. 
But he's also been a politician long... Am I wrong? Before I continue the statement. Okay, he's also been a politician long ago. Yeah. A lot longer too. A lot longer. It's like <laughs> ain't even close. <laughs> <laughs> ain't even close. He probably... But he has the most. Douglas has... Douglas, uh, and uh, when I say the gift of Gab, he has, he has the ability to, to sweep you off your feet. He's charming. Okay, so top... But, in, ter- but, in, but, in, but in terms of if, 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 if the average man who doesn't know either of them listens to them talk... Like to deliver a speech, for example, they're gonna leave more to 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 to, to us back, in my opinion. Mm. When Dougie was giving we giving speeches, man. yeah, when, when Dougie was giving me talking about when he's probably abusing, I'm talking about if he's <laughs> but that's what the common man like. Yeah, bye. But, but yeah, but that's irrelevant when it when, when it comes to car, to, to, to charisma. What when I'm talking about when I'm talking about delivery, that not you. No, no, nobody, nobody, nobody disputing that. But that's up there, I mean, what one. I'm saying is that I think that. That this it's like it's like comparing apples and oranges at that point. That's what I'm saying. Charisma is charisma. Okay, so so the and Douglas is charismatic, but I believe he is more flavorful than charismatic. Like he's sweeter to listen to. He enjoy it more, but I mean he's more charismatic though. Mm. You understand mm. what I'm saying? He definitely enjoy listening to Dougie more because he one thing he is is funny. Mm. Dougie is hilarious, you know. If Dougie were to Marco. present at the UN and then Bradley present with him, yeah, but Dougie, but no, but, you, but you see, that's, that's the thing. I think on the platform, you only lead towards Douglas. I think in a more formal setting, you lead towards Bradley. Like I think it just depends on the setting. That's what I'm saying. The different flavors would have diff- which would sh- would shine in different arenas. You know what I like about Dougie the most? That even you know most politicians. Oh, sharp bus? Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know how, how most politicians write speeches. Doggy could just go off. Like I'm sure he has a speech written, but he can improvise very easily. Yeah. And it's always funny. Do. He's a gifted orator. He's f- a gifted orator. But I think that is a big part of success as a politician. Eh? Yes. Being yes. able to just be just being articulate. Well, as a matter of fact, <coughs> as a matter of fact, there's a I won't call the name, but there's a politician here who has struggled to to win his seat. Um. Who and I tell people I think his issue is he is very intelligent. He's a very intelligent man, but not, talking about? but not very articulate. <laughs> yeah, not very yeah. articulate. But he's you could he could tell he's a very intelligent oh, man. Okay, okay, but he's not very articulate. Okay, I think you know. He has struggled to win his seat, does not he? Yeah, he has struggled to win his seat. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. What's going on? Okay. They got no maid though. They got no maid then. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I was correct yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, he had something else. I know what he I know what he's saying, but Okay. Yeah. But the same the same goes for the next one though. But yeah, the same goes for the next one, yeah. Jerry <laughs> where you live? Bush. Something happening and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so we're just in partition behind the back, <laughs> on live on air. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think that is a definite huge plus. So I think you have to be articulate, charismatic, personable. Because there's some people who I think personable who is number on? one because because look at uh, Lord. It's very hard to speak about this little calling names. <laughs> <laughs> one, There's another both one. Both of number ones were, that was the problem. Huh? Wait, what? What is that? Both of number ones. I think that was the problem. Mm. Being from number one, I feel like that was the problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, neither charismatic at all. Yes. Mm. Neither. Mm. At all. And then the other thing too is that I think that people have to understand there's a difference between being personable and sociable. And again, who bang who bang them? And man was personable. Yeah, it's yep. true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's one big thing about being a politician. And I think, and I think, and, and, and I think that's the that's 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 the most important thing. People have to Locally, like you. Locally, yeah. People have yes. to like you. People just have to like, like. People have to like you. Like that's and that's <coughs> just the reality. As a matter of fact, there are some people who I know now have political aspirations. Because they're like. No, oh. and I think they're going to struggle, even though they're even though they're very intelligent, even speak though, well and everything. And yeah, everything. yeah, but the they, same they're just they're, they're not personable. It's a bus. People ain't like you. <laughs> like you're not likable. That's very important. And you can't you can't help it. It's your personality. And even if people dislike them, 
You mean that aside, even if you're a person where people just indifferent about you, that's that's a bad thing though. Oh yeah. No, but as I, I'll tell you something, eh? <laughs> there are people who I might not like you, right? But you're personable, meaning the reason I might not like you might not have anything to do with your personality. So there are right, people right, right. there are people who might dislike somebody because of uh, just a comment they made or because mm. they're from a different party and them kind of things. Oh, the policy. And they, yeah, and, and they'll still be like, but he don't, but he, but he don't, make, me, he don't make me laugh. But, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, but, like, like, <laughs> but he cool, he cool, he cool. He cool, he cool. That's, yeah. watch you, yeah. that's one thing, you could catch a kitchen on a visual video, you know? If you could make them laugh, but they love you, boy. Nobody like jokes more than kitchen. Boy, and that's one of the reasons why, why, why that, that fellow don't go send the points so strong down there to you. He was, he was always, that was his brand, a man, a man for the people, like. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. He can walk in the morning and, and as, many, as, as many people as can fit in the car, he can then walk. Mm-hmm. Anybody got a house party, he do. Anybody got an event, he do. Yeah. So it's like, we've seen him, even if you ain't like him, eventually, you tolerate him eventually. Because you know what, like, you, yeah. You know what does crap me up? Like, I would see like people who are like running, running for, 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 for a seat. Driving through the the constituency with the windows up. He was to do it. Uh, Who is he? Watch you. You you going you going down a path there, yeah. Going on what path? It's an experience that I've had. Number one. Yes. Like I've little. Man hot. Huh? He hot. Yes, he got one. Oh okay. Mean mean mean. Let me down to Ambassador with a suit on in Parliament. But na- no that's not that's not my issue. The issue was like it was never ever a personable relationship, mm. ever. I as him, understand what you're saying. Because yeah, my thing yeah. is, if your window is always up, at least be personable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah, least yeah. be a man to see the man them and pull up on the table and say, yo, they bang some bills. I, yeah, lit- I literally had an experience with mm-hmm. this man, right? I am going to talk about that here because, I mean, in it, I care about still. Um, and it showed me, like, <laughs> how uh, politicians could be, like, I already already knew how politicians could be, right? But experiencing it first and I was like, okay, I got you. Like, poly, like, poly, like, okay, you can't be, you can't be somebody running for office, and don't, for instance, engage in the things in your constituency. In your constituency, you got basketball team, netball team, football team. You ain't, you, you're not integrated into those types of, no. those types of institutions. It's one thing to just be delivering <laughs> on policies that you promise, but you have to get to know the people that you are serving. You are a politician for the people. So how do you serve people that you don't know? Well, okay, but you, you see, there's people again. I think this mm-hmm. is outside of the personable thing, because for instance, I think there are a lot of people who have good intentions. They want to do well. They want to. They, they want to help the community. They want to help the people in the community. But their character doesn't necessarily lend itself to becoming elected. They're not electable because they're just not personable. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean they don't have a deep devotion and passion for the people around them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In other words, elections, as it stands in in most democratic societies, in in, in essence, is a popularity contest. Yeah. Essentially, <laughs> it's a popularity contest. So, I mean, if you want to win a popularity contest, there are certain things that are going to, okay. yeah, I'm going to, you know, give you the best chance of winning. Those things have <coughs> literally nothing to do with the job you do afterwards. Nope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it would be good that you do your job as well. I mean, that's a plus. But before you even get to the job, like there are certain things that you just have to do and have to be. And so that, I guess that's why politician politics isn't for everybody. Yeah, man. Like you could have the best ideas, but like. And I think. And the, and and you don't have to be a politician to serve. Mm-hmm. Like that's the that's the thing about it. You don't have to be a politician to serve your community, to serve your nation, to do all these things. So, you know, if you if you, if you're just not cut out for politics, don't mean serve that you're way, yeah, yeah. serve in other ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, we are talking about this here. Most people just focus on themselves and the family, well, <laughs> really themselves, and keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we'll pause for a cause at, at this point and come back with some more conversations. Stay tuned. Different. We're 
98.9 Win FM Christmas is a time for togetherness with friends and family. A lot has changed this year, and despite the fact that Christmas may look a little different and we can't all be together, let's hold on to that Christmas magic. All is still bright. Your friends at the Insurance Company of the West Indies wish you and your family joyful moments and Christmas cheer this holiday season. Click, call, or visit ICWI today. Visit us at 1C Bird Rock Road, call 465-8753 or ICWI.com. At ICWI, serving you is all we do. Happy Holidays! Mary, why you look so depressed? Girl, nothing happening this season. Are you kidding? You've never heard about the masquerade of savings at TDC Insurance? Girl, tell me more. This season, you'll get up to 60% off your motor insurance premium and up to 30% off your property insurance premium. Plus, you get a chance to win up to $1,500 in TDC gift cards in their masquerade savings raffle. So mask, like a mask, mask. <laughs> After all, TDCIC keeping us protected. TDCIC, we take good care of you. Guaranteeing you peace of mind. Maybe it's the way the brilliant gold liquid reflects our sunshine, or how the bright blue of its label mirrors the clear Caribbean skies overhead. Maybe it's the fresh, crisp taste of this beastly cold beer on a scorching hot day. Maybe it's even the way it brings us all together. But one thing is for sure, Carib is very much a part of who we are wherever we're from in the Caribbean. Carib, it's the way we play. Drink responsibly. Welcome back to Island Tea with your faves, Kevin and Amali. And we are joined now by Sir Kennedy Simmons. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Good morning. It's good to be here with you. What, an, what an honor, eh? Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> yeah, I think we're kind of all in um, 
we are in, 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 in disbelief that this is happening. And and very because honored I believe that, you, we, we, that you we, were able to come and join us today. Yes, yes. I well, I must say that my need is as great as yours. <laughs> you you um, looking for something to fill the air, the airwaves, mm. and I'm looking for a means of promoting my book. Mm -hmm. oh, well, <laughs> the stars have aligned today. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Sir Kennedy, you, well, for those, <laughs> normally, normally we start our interviews by asking the guests to introduce themselves for those who may not know them, but I don't think that's necessary <laughs> in this particular instance. But for those, you know, younger folks who, who might be tuned in, um, Sir Kennedy um, is one of the forefathers of our great nation. He is our only living national hero, and he is the first Prime Minister of the, of the, the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And he has come here this morning to promote his book signing that's scheduled for next week. Tuesday, I think it is? No, it's for tomorrow. Oh, oh this for Tuesday. Tomorrow. Yeah. This oh, Tuesday. Tomorrow. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, that's Tuesday, the, that's, that's the what, 21st? the 22nd? 22nd, 22nd yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent, excellent. Um, so, for well, those who... Tell us a bit about um, uh, the, the book itself. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very curious about... Um, um, what the book's about, um, and, and 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 you chose to write to to to, to write this book. So and what was the inspiration behind it? Somebody like you should be telling me. You should have already bought your copy. Yeah, as it <laughs> no, 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 no. I actually, I no. I'll tell you. I actually have several copies of the book at my home. Oh, I've wonderful. Read, I've, I've read some of it. Yes. Wonderful. <coughs> also, well, you're asking for those who have not. For those who have okay. not. Okay. Yes. Well, <coughs> the the idea of writing a book at all. Right, sort of developed gradually over time after I had retired from politics and after I had also retired from my medical practice. My last practice, of course, took place in Anguilla. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think the, 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 the idea germinated because it appeared that my friends and people I met, who, who talked to at my local bar, which I think most of you know is Jabos in Market Street. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, always asking questions and trying to um, dig me to talk about times past, what happened, how come this and why that. And it, frankly, it is easier for me to relate my story or the story of the times rather than to sit down and write a book. But finally I decided, well, I thought that there were a lot of interesting things that happened in my life, and maybe I should settle down and document it. Right. Well, I started the simplest way, with pen and paper. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> that is the most difficult, for me, it was the most difficult way to approach writing a book. Mm -hmm. I got about three lines and couldn't go any further. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and then I said, well... Even though I'm a two-finger typist, it's probably better to try typing it. But I couldn't think and type. I'm developing that skill right now. But mm. at that time, I couldn't think and type. And that mm. is why it was easier to write something and then type it. Mm. Right. And then I was trying initially to do things in order, to start um, my the youngest recollection I had and work my way all the way up. And I recall in conversation with a very good friend of mine um, from my political days, um, so James Mitchell, son Mitchell, we called him. We got on very well. And he has written three books already. And I told him about this. I, he was pushing me to write a book, actually. And I was saying, well, I don't think I'll bother with that. But eventually the, the idea took root. And then I told him about the, the dilemma I had. And there's one very interesting thing, an important thing that he suggested to me, which made a lot of difference. He said, don't try to write the, the thing in order. As you remember something, That's right. put it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, even if it was one of the last things that you're, go that, that you're going to write about, any particular incident and that you want to include, you, it's in your mind, put, write about it, mm -hmm. put it down. So, to cut a long story short, because I intend to cut a long story short this morning. <laughs> <laughs> to cut a long story short, um, as I told you, I found it easier to talk the story. Right. So eventually, uh, 
made up my mind, I'm going to do the book, but I'm going to talk the story. Mm. So I got this story videotaped. Mm. My mm. videographer was Selwyn Rusty Leibold, very well known to, mm-hmm. I think, to all of you. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I must extend my great appreciation to him because a friend of mine, we play tennis every Sunday, and he offered to videotape this, um, my story, yeah. and on his own time, mm-hmm. free gratis and for mm. nothing. Um, it took a few months actually, because we worked mornings, maybe three mornings a week, we worked, um, and I would prepare, make my notes. So I think one of these days my notebook might prove <laughs> to be interesting. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, that would be, be interesting. Um, I made my notes in the evening, before as to what I would like to talk about the next day. And it worked out very well for me. As a matter of fact, what I found is sometimes you had to slow me down or stop me. It was much easier. You carried away? Oh, yes. (laughs) Much easier to talk about those days. And to express it verbally. And I was, I kind of surprised myself a little in the sense of the things that I could remember. And I remembered a lot of my early, earlier days Going, um, growing up in Rosemary Lane in the days when Rosemary Lane was a dirt road. Mm. Um, going to Miss Matcher School up Market Street through the first alley on the left as you mm. go up um, past the Salvation Army. Um, going to Bastia Boys School in those days on the Mr. Beach. It was interesting, both Mr. Beach and I left um, Bastia Boys School at the same time. Um, he to retire, mm-hmm. and I just to get started at grammar school. Mm-hmm. Life in grammar school, I worked for uh, nearly a year at the Sugar Association Lab um, as a se- senior bench chemist. And then from there, um, got, um, I'd won the Leeward Island Scholarship. The result came in, I think, it was about January of 1955, and from there to the university. So the book details all of, mm. of, of those and some of the stories that came in in between. Um, now, in writing it, I had to be careful to, um, to, to be as accurate as possible, talking about events and things that occurred in the 1950s, I mean, and making sure you get them in the right chronological order. Otherwise, be... May someday, because you're in politics, people will be always looking to find a way to scrutinize and to, discredit, um, and to discredit on, or say, well, you did some, you said something wrong, or it wasn't true. And one of the things I did was to spend a lot of time um, at the the archives, going through um, newspapers. I'm sure a lot of you don't know we had a daily newspaper back in those days, the Daily Bulletin. Mm. And spent a lot of time going through the daily bulletin from um, the 50s, well, well, from 1946, coming all the way up until I left since 1954. Mm. The bulletin subsequently closed. But it was a great source of material and um, helping me to refresh my mind about certain things. Mm -hmm. And again, Mrs. O'Flaherty, who was in charge of the archives, was a tremendous source of uh, assistance for um, sourcing material and helping me to find what I wanted. So here we are, approximately a year later, a year year and a month, Mm -hmm. almost to the day Mm -hmm. later, because the book was launched on the 19th of November last year. And now, um, because of the setbacks of COVID, and I think we didn't really get to do as heavy a promotion uh, as we would have liked to do. Mm. So we're going at it again. We're here today talking about it. I'll be on ZIZ um, probably this evening in the news. I'll be taping about 1.30 today. Mm. And tomorrow, from 10.30 in the morning, 
Yes, until four time. o'clock in the afternoon, mm-hmm. I'll be at the National Trust, the old um, National Trust Museum, the yeah. old Treasury Building, okay. um, at the foot of Fourth Street, at the junction of Fourth Street yeah. and the Bay Road. The Bay Road mm-hmm. yeah. We'll be under the canopy there, and oh, we'll outside. Be, we'll be under under the arch, under the arch, under the arch, yeah, under the arch, and we, because I don't want my book to get wet by rain. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll be um, s- selling and signing. You can buy from uh, the, the... They actually have books for sale inside at, at the museum. Mu- at the the museum. Trust? Oh. But we'll also have books on the table outside. Persons who want to buy and get it signed immediately. Mm-hmm. And also there are persons who have bought books already and who would like to get them autographed. Mm-hmm. This would be a good opportunity for them to come so between 10.30 and 4 in the afternoon when the museum will close, um, and the, uh, I will be there to make sure that they can get their books signed. Okay, right. brilliant. So, 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 so for those listening, um, what's, 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 what's the cost of the book locally? No, locally, the, the hardcover book, mm-hmm. which is, seems to be the more popular, is at of $80 course. EC. Really? Yeah, yes. I always want to make it within reach at the mm-hmm. same time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'd love to charge more and get more. <laughs> <laughs> no, but $80 is easy for the hardcover. And then we have the paperback, mm-hmm. soft cover, which is $60 easy. Ah, okay. It's been right. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I mean? Well, we got caught with that. We, re, when we were ordering the books, I, um, we talked about it, me and my team, and we thought, well, um, $80, people, Again, sixty. A lot of people probably want to spend the sixty, so we yeah. ordered more, more of the sixty of the sixty <laughs> than <laughs> of the. <laughs> Man, we, ne- we we nearly didn't get out of the school <laughs> in no time at all. all the we amount had we had allocated for the school, all the hard covers just went. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, we had put aside some for Nevis because we were having a promo um, a sale and promotion next day, next evening in Nevis. If we had carried that nearest um, allocation up there, that too would have gone. gone. Would have gone mm-hmm. yes. So the, the next so day, we had the nearest one, and we we almost sold off mm-hmm. that up there. So <coughs> when I realized what was happening, we made another order. Right? By then, of course, it was coming close to Christmas and the, sh- the sh- uh, problems of shipping, etc. We there. didn't get that. We got that order, I think... We probably got it in January, early oh. January, right? And this time, we ordered about twice as many um, hard, hard covers. copies. So we have some hard copies available okay. right now. And I think right now we can satisfy the demand, even though I'd love it to not be able to satisfy the <laughs> demand. Right, right. <laughs> it's always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's tomorrow. So... Um, no, don't make the mistake of trying to send people there next week. No, no, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. where it is. Tuesday. Tuesday. Question, yeah. Um, yeah. Is, is, is the book available online? It is available online from Amazon, okay. um, what's the other one, Barnes & Noble, um, the Ingram is another um, international bookseller. Yeah. If you go on my website, mm-hmm. You will see the, it will direct you to the place where you can get the book Combined. online. Awesome. Right? SirKennedySimmons.com. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then you get, you, you'll you see where you can get the book, Amazon, um, Barnes and All the book. outlets, yeah. The, on the, the e-book on Amazon is $7.90 US. Right? So, and it's uh, the... To, to the the hardcover, I think, is twenty nine. It's very close yeah, um, yeah. It, mm-hmm. to to the, the EC equivalent yeah. conversion. Yeah. Very close. You can also get similarly in Canada. The price in Canada is very close to the mm-hmm. EC conversion. So, so how long did it take to 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 <laughs> to, to write this book? <laughs> Actually, no. Let me see. Um, it took uh, maybe. Maybe be over about a year and a half, I would say. Not bad at all. Right, it took about a year and a half. Um, some of the, some of that were um, included the early attempts yes, and yes. not succeeding. 
right, and the waiting and back and forth. But the idea of videotaping the book, right, that made the thing really move. Mm -hmm. And then, having all these Disraeli videotapes, I put it on an external hard drive, and then what to do with it next? Mm -hmm. Talking to my good friend, um, um, the, um, the, um, the, his lordship, his acted judge, Mr. Tony Ross, schoolmate mm -hmm. of mine now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Anthony Ross, mm -hmm. who is he's in St. Kitts now, he's come back from Canada. Um, he's been an engineer and one of the top lawyers in Canada. Mm -hmm. And he said to me that, that it's an easy problem to get it uh, converted from, t from video to text. Because that I saw foresaw as a big problem. What, how I proposed to deal with it really was to try and get maybe else an office and have, oh. have someone, someone yeah. there Bush listening and, uh, and taping it, yeah. and transcribing. Um, he said, no, there's a company in Canada that does that. Mm -hmm. The lawyers and um, doctors and engineers and people, or, 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 or business people, they send all their stuff there. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. And uh, it's transcribed, all the audios, wow. videos, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And it's transcribed. That's, that's all they do. And so when I contacted those people and told them what I had, they said, fine, that they were able to handle it. And so he, in, in the first instance, Mr. Ross took up my um, hard yeah, drive yeah, yeah. to them. And uh, in a reasonable time, they started sending me back um, the various chapters. Right? Um, I, I, we questioned whether we just let them do the whole thing and then send everything back. But it was much better for them to just do the chapters, as, and as they had one or two chapters done, they'd send them back send by them email. Back. Right. Right. And then I would start um, the process editing. of editing. Yes. And, mm -hmm. right. and again, I had um, good help, Mrs. Lorna Callender, who oh, herself yes, yeah. has written mm -hmm. books. Mm -hmm. And she's very experienced in these matters. And she was a tremendous source of assistance in terms of the editing and, and so on. So. <clears throat> Uh, then in between, while that's going on, I think of a, sub of a subject and the videotaping where there was then not readily available. We'd taken down all the equipment after a certain time and all that was set up. And we didn't bother to keep try setting it up for one or two little sessions. So then I st started to write mm. one or two um, chapters as, as, as they occurred you, yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. And we um, email that as an attachment and send it up to Canada and we'd get it back. Nice, nice. I want to make a point that um, I financed the book, the entire book, myself. Mm -hmm. right? um, from the video, um, certainly as I said with the assistance of Rusty, mm -hmm. right? and then the cost of getting it done in Canada, um, get, getting it transcribed. Then I'd, I did a lot of the transcription. Oh. At, into mm. the wee hours of the morning, going over this. <laughs> Miss, Mrs. Callender helped tremendously with that. And so it, it, it helped the process to, to go forward, you know. Mm. Um, something else very recently, which was, was interesting to me in a sense, we got an international review. You know, right, we had right. some local reviewers. Yeah. Mrs. Cardinal self-reviewed it. There was a young man who was working in England, the embassy of uh, the mission there. He's back now, and he gave a very good review. You can find some of those on the website. And there were one or two local reviewers. That's fine, and we appreciate that. And if the other people want to read and review, that's fine. But we had our first international review very recently. We, um, we scored three out of a possible four, three stars out of a possible four. Mm -hmm. Wow. What was interesting to me is that he commented on the reason why he didn't give a four. The book was long. 
<laughs> That's one. Yeah. Right? The book was long. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not too disturbed by that. Right? I expected the book. As a matter of fact, we had to this we had to cut out stuff. In order, yes, I in order to get it down to the size. So that it wouldn't it be is. ridiculous? Yes. Right. <laughs> so it wouldn't be an encyclopedia? <laughs> right. Exactly. We wanted it to remain just a book. And then the other comment he made was in relation to some of the grammar. Mm. Well, right away, I s- realize uh, that we have a cultural difference. Divine, yeah. mm-hmm. Right? Because I do agree that in relating on the early life and some of the, the, the ways we spoke and we say, we said, it was natural. Yeah, yes. Yes. Right? Yes. I did not invoke my Oxford dictionary in order to relate those, I, the, mm-hmm. those right, events. Right, right. Because they were real, they, they real life events. <laughs> right. So, so you, mm-hmm. you, you so, recollect them, yeah. Um, the, the, the language, I think, would be more appreciated by local, local right. and Caribbean people and those who have been exposed culturally to, to that sort, to of, that sort yeah, of thing. And the, yeah. writings, the writings should reflect the writer. Right. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. I th- I am, and the era I'm, as well. Yes. I, am co- <laughs> right. I, I, I feel, I've, I tried I've, to, to be as natural and straightforward as I could be in the writing because <clears throat> I did want the writing to reflect... Um, my own thinking, and in some uh, in some aspects of it, you will find my particular thoughts and perspectives on mm. you know, on different aspects of life. Things that uh, the way I approach politics, right. right? The way I approach my practice of medicine, mm. and s- uh, some of the influences, some of the people who influenced the way that I approached those aspects of my life. It's all there. Mm-hmm. It's all there in the book. Speaking of speaking of you know those those things, um, what sort of political mi- milestones did you cover in the book? Just to name one or two. Um, <laughs> out of the hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, well, we should, to start from the beginning, I suppose the first political milestone would have to go even before even before politics. The electricity demonstration of. Uh, 19, we started, the party started in 56, the electricity demonstration, 66, 65, mm-hmm. electricity demonstration of 1964, it was about November 1964, when um, people took to the streets because the government was um, instituted a charge for electricity by flow space. In mm. addition to the energy mm-hmm. charge, mm-hmm. as an add-on. Now, a lot of people found that a hardship and very um, ridiculous. Today, people might not see it in quite the same way. Right. Right? Because how life has changed so much and we take electricity for granted. We have electricity going on everywhere. There's a light right here. There's another one over there. There's a next one and behind plug, here. And the plugs, there's the outlets everywhere. Too. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. Now, when I grew up in Rosemary Lane, um, we, we had lamp. We, we, we operated by lamplight. Mm-hmm. Eventually, while I was at grammar school, we got electricity. Right? And we, the electri- first, there was one bulb. In the middle of the house? No. The, the house was downstairs and mm-hmm. upstairs by then. The, how it came that way, you'll read in the book. Okay. But... Like the living room and the dining section was divided by just a um, hardboard mm-hmm. partition, mm-hmm. and it didn't go right up to the roof. Just about midway, you had one light, so you get some light in the li- living one room, side and you get it. some light in the other <laughs> side. Mm. One light. Now to facilitate going up the steps, we had a, um, a bulb right at the top of the steps. Right now, that's where you used to study. I'd okay. sit on about the third step with books and everything up on the top, mm-hmm. and, the, and the first, the top, the, the landing section, mm-hmm. and the first step, and I'd sit there under that light, mm-hmm. and we got it, and study. And then, well, the, there were two bedrooms. The bedrooms would each have a light. So, the, I, I mean, you, just, you didn't just put lights all Everywhere. over the place. <laughs> and right. Right. Strategically all placed. Plugs all over. Right. But then... That controlled your usage and sort of kept your bill within reason. Mm-hmm. Well, if you come now on a house like that, which downstairs, living room, dining room, 
and uh, the kitchen, eh? and you add all that floor space plus the floor space upstairs. Huh? I mean, you could see what that would do then right. to the whole con uh, to your electricity mm -hmm. bill. Mm -hmm. right? And one of the things that really s um, struck me and, and influenced me, I actually went to that demonstration. I didn't need to. But one of the things that really got me, on a Saturday afternoon, we used to go around the country, a little group of us to drive around the country, and we'd stop at different places. And one of the, the popular places we'd stop and hang out was Freight Shop in Molyneux. Mm -hmm. right. And this afternoon we got there, Mr. Freight was on, I mean, he was on, the, on his platform right, because he was expanding the business. And so he had a, a floor area started up with a couple of columns and blocks, just building. He hadn't gone up to roof height yet, no roof, and they had already come and measured it up to charge for his electricity oh, usage um. by floor space. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you right. can see how ridiculous this, the, the, the thing had looked at the time. And I thought, this, is, this don't make sense. So even on the morning of the demonstration, I had made up my mind to go. I thought about it. I, I was very sympathetic to the cause, but but by the afternoon, I'm that way sometimes. I'm looking at something, and I see it maybe bother me a little bit. But if you give it time, it, the it disturbance it wells <laughs> up a bit more. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So Bob by the afternoon, I really was upset with this thing. So I'm gone up the park, and I said, I'm going to join people. I'm going to walk in the demonstration. I had nothing to do with the planning. Had nothing to do with anything. I'm just gonna go as a so support, yeah. regular support, friend. Yeah. But when I got to the park, who should I run to? But my good friend, the late Richard Keynes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Richard was one who was involved in the planning. Um, Dr. Herbert was the main person. Mm -hmm. um, Michael Powell was involved in the planning. The late Colin Pereira. I'm not sure. I don't know if Carl Courtney Dickinson is still around or if he, he's in the world. But there were other people who were, in, who were involved in, in that demonstration. Um, the late Cardinal Christmas. Mm. Um, the late um, Harry Wilson, um, from, he was a druggist, as we call it, on Central, Central Street. These were people who were involved in that mm. demonstration. But Richard was standing there, and we were talking. And then when it was time to move off, Dr. Herbert came and said, look, we got to go. Because the plan was to march the government house, deliver a petition, and come back and then have a rally. So we've got to go and get back here so that we can get the rally in. Richard was standing, and he had this banner rolled up. I didn't know what was on it. He had this thing rolled up. But when it was time to move off, and he unfolded it, it had two sticks. And two of us were standing there. He took one, so I naturally just took the other one. Mm -hmm. And I ended up in the, the front, front? <laughs> in the front <laughs> of this thing. By um, the Barbados Advocate at that time had a local cause. In fact, they used to publish an island's edition of the Barbados Advocate in St. Kitts. Mm. And the, the manager that, the, the man in response was a man by the name Mr. Springer. Right. By the next day, man, Springer had this photograph on the front page. <laughs> Would you hold in the man up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, lead in the match. Yeah, lead, lead in, in the, the match. match. <laughs> lead in the match, yeah. Well, the, uh, um, I'm not going to go into the consequences of that. <laughs> but it's in the book. It's, uh, it's in the book. Mm -hmm. That is related in the book. So that was the start. When we returned, I was down in the audience like everybody else, and the, the organizers were giving the speeches and so on. And then subsequently, they advertised that they're going to have a meeting at Dr. Herbert's office um, to discuss whether they thought it was there's a need for another political party. I mean, the history of political parties prior to that was they come up, you have an election, they lose, and they go. They disappear. Right, a few years will pass, and then coming close to another election, another one would come up, and the same thing would happen. But they were always out. There, 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 there used to be a meeting to discuss this. The time was set. 
So this is the next, inc the, the, the next development now in the political career. I said, well, I didn't have anything special during that night. I wasn't. So let me just <laughs> pass down there and see what's going on. Let's so take I, a pass. Let's take a pass. I take a pass, <laughs> right? And I go on down there. And to be hopefully that nobody really paid too much attention to me. I was look in the extreme rear of the room. My back was against the wall. Mm -hmm. Actually, in the extreme rear. Maybe, maybe that was why. <laughs> <laughs> right. And the discussion was going on. I said nothing. I was made no contribution discussion at all to we should we shouldn't we. And in the end, it was recommended that reform an interim committee. Right? And the, the interim committee was charged with going around the island. Doing the research? Ireland, and having meetings, and mm -hmm. going to Nevis it, it initially, because there was no NRP or anything at the, at the Nevis. It was charged with going around the island and getting a sense of if we thought that there was a, a good basis. Mm -hmm. right? It was like the in a poll or yeah. survey, but publicly. If the public was ready for... Right, for to see if we were ready mm -hmm. for something like this, for a pa another political party. So they're going to form this interim committee. Naturally, Dr. Hubbard being the driving force. Dr. Hubbard to be president or chairman, chairman it was of this committee. Fine, no, no. I mean, no dissented voice. Next thing, somebody call my name to be secretary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, it took me by surprise, I must admit. I had never thought that anybody would even think of calling my name mm -hmm. in relation to politics. I'd given no speeches anyway. I hadn't commented on anything anyway, except for attending this. And playing for as a whole and, and <laughs> the yeah, 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 yeah. And lead, a so-called <laughs> leading it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I should really have just simply declined. But somehow, I just didn't. So then we started, the interim committee met, and we decided, planned, OK, we're going here, we're going there, this day, and we're going to do that, and so on. And we went along, and the, the, we selected four speakers, Dr. Herbert, um, Mr. Keynes, Michael Powell, and myself. So we, we were the four speakers. When we got into an area, sometimes we use some local person. If you're in Kayon, for example, we get a Kayon person added, added to it and so on. And the long and short of it, so that was the next event, that meeting. Long and short of it afterwards, we dis, it was decided, yes, we should have a political organization. And then the next step was the big launching meeting at Paul Mall Square. Right. So that was the next political event. Of course, that, that was 1965. By 1966, um, the government called an election. So we were just yes, yes, right, getting, right, started. getting started. But yeah. we contested, and we didn't do badly. You should go look at the results, check the results sometime. Mm. Um, I ran in East Basti, as a matter of fact. And I ran three times in East Basti and lost. My first time was actually the best. Really? You went yeah. down here after the first time? No, no, no. Well, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't win. I lost. But my, perf my, my performance was the, mm -hmm. the best. Mm -hmm. I think because perhaps um, people were kind of caught by surprise, you know. Mm -hmm. But after they figured that I could be a threat. Yeah, yeah. Um, we focus a lot more. A and more the subsequent <laughs> elections were not, uh, performances were not as strong. Mm. But the next um, event was the by-election of 1979. Right. <laughs> um, as a, let me back up a bit. As a consequence of now being active in politics, there's some things that happen. You have to pay a price. And anybody going politics must be understand they have to pay a price. In these days, the price may be a different kind of price, but you have to pay a price. Mm -hmm. My price at the time was to be arrested for what, what being on my own land, <laughs> for which I had full title. Mm -hmm. wow. right? That's also in the book. 
So you, you could see how that developed. And 79 came the by-election. And the, the, normally, at that time, I was running in East Bastia. The by-election was for Central Bastia. And the candidate at Cent Central Bastia at that time was uh, Michael Powell. The first time we contested, we didn't put a candidate in Central Bastia because Mr. Christmas, Cardinal Christmas, um, had contested before. And we figured out of respect for that, that we'd leave him and not cont mm, contest, contest against right. him, give him all our support and ask our people to vote for him. So Pam did not put a candidate in the first time. But now it was Michael Paul. But the party got together and decided that if there's one seat to be contested, then the leader should contest. By that time, of course, I mean, so that I had become the leader replacing Dr. Hubbard. So I contested, and I think you might know a bit. First, it was said that Mr. Ribeiro, who was my opponent, would won. Right. And then we took the matter to court because there was a lot of, there was 90, just the same kind of things recently, 90-something. Um, Spoiled ballots. Spoiled ballots. Rejected ballots. Rejected, yeah. Rejected, yeah. Rejected ballots. And to us, from that, we believed, fairly believed, and I believe, because I did attend the count, most of it, that most of those rejected ballots should have been mine, which we won that eventually <coughs> in, the, in, at the, in the court. Mm -hmm. And so that was another specific political highlight. Then, of course, following that, going back in 1980, we had a called a general election. Mr. Moore, who was then the premier, decided to call a general election because then he'd get rid of, get rid of me from Central. Right. Right? And then they'd have everything again to themselves. Mm. But instead of getting rid of me, they got more people winning <laughs> seats. <laughs> right. So we took over in 1980 with the coalition. Yeah? Then, so th that was a highlight, forming the coalition and forming the government. And in 1983, obviously, independence, independence right. was a major highlight of the political career. Uh, <coughs> and... <coughs> As you, there, there are many other highlights, I mean, so some of the th things that we are able to do. And I think that a lot of it is listed all in, um, in the book, and I would recommend it highly um, to persons. But that gives you a kind of general idea how I happened quite accidentally <laughs> to get into politics. But having got in, I... Decided that I'd have to put my all, put everything into it, and try and just try to do the best I could. It's funny how sometimes life has its own plan for us, eh? And there is a there's a divinity that shapes our ends. We we'll few them how we will. The um, master Shakespeare told you so, and it's true. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. um, I know we're gonna have to to to, to wrap up soon, um, but I'm I'm very intrigued by by these videos. I'm hoping that. <laughs> outside of the outside of the um of the book um which which I recommend everyone go out and, and, and purchase and, 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 and take in this Christmas time, get one for you, for your friends, for your family. But outside of, of the book, um has anyone ever approached you or is there any talk about a possible documentary? He, um no one has approached me as such, and I would not recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have it in, as a matter of fact, I have it in, in mind that perhaps someday we'll do it. And I know exactly who is going to be involved in, Amazing. Uh, in getting that documentary done and move forward. Mm. Amazing. Um, yeah. So I would not really recommend mm. that anybody become too obsessed with the idea <laughs> of doing a documentary. I have the material. Right, so exactly. Already, exactly. The plan is already mo is set in place. Um, I f no, I have not got specific. That is to say, well, next week or next year okay. or next month, I'm going to do A, B, or C. But... What is in is, is sort of Alden Stone is when I'm ready, how I'm going to do it, and going who's to gonna it. be involved. Uh, right. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's okay. it. Amazing. I should also I, I should um, remind persons to how po how persons uh, can get the book, because the book is um, available on sale at Law's Bookstore, at Harper's Bookstore, 
at the a museum, the, the National Trust, the museum, at, right at the site where we are going to have the book signing tomorrow right. from 10.30 to 4 p.m. And in Nevis, um, the, the book is available. I'm trying to remember the name of the... Um, of the place. The book is available in Nevis from the Triple M One Stop Bookstore at the top of Happy Hill Alley in Charlestown. Okay. Mm. okay. Well, guys, yeah, there's, there's many places that you could go to, to, to pick up this book and again <laughs> encourage all, all to go out and really, you know, yeah. do yourself a favor and, 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 pick, and pick up this book, um, give it a read. And share it with uh, with anyone who who you know any, anyone could benefit from this. And you know, like he said, it's also available online. You have yeah. to head over mm -hmm. to his website, so kennedysimmons.com. It tells you the places you can pick up the book, and it's available. The e copy is available, the hardcover and the paperback. All of them. So They're all available. Pick, pick pick your pick your make your pick. Yes. Yeah. And also go out tomorrow. <coughs> um, and and this is a a very good opportunity for you to to get your book signed. To, to interact um, with, with, with the doctor himself. And um, I mean, this is something that we all should really try and take advantage of. I don't know if 10 to 4 is going to be long enough. You might have to do one again the day after. Um, I do. If it, w if it became necessary, um, I wouldn't object. I would. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we had a good turnout, the mm -hmm. kind of turnout, right, and it, uh, we thought it was necessary. I'm fine. I mean, I'm retired, so to speak. <laughs> and if it's a question of getting out there to promote the book, fine. And even if it's not the day after, mm -hmm. it's not like a biscuit. It can't be done. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So we can always go back the following week between Christmas and New yeah, Year, yeah, if right. necessary, yeah. and evening to the New Year. Yeah. I'm available. You have time. And I, would, I have time. Yeah. God willing, I have time. My only issue is... Mm -hmm. After your story just now, I have to be careful about where I take a pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Dr. Simmons, thank you very much for, for joining us here on Island Team. Uh, absolute pleasure. But before you leave, I want to get you to commit to come in back on the show <laughs> for an even longer period, one of these days, mm. and telling us about some of your stories. I'm, I'm fascinated, and I'm sure the listeners you know, would be appreciative of that as well. Um, all right. Well, <laughs> I, I'm not going to commit to any particular time. No, 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 that's I good enough. The hour I wouldn't good enough. mind doing it. One I would not days. mind. I've been, it's been going around in my head that maybe I might want to do an audio book. I know there are companies you know. which do that, yeah. but nobody's going to read my book for me. Right, do you want yeah, to read man. it? I will do it myself. I, want, yes. I think, I think everybody would like that because right? you get because to say you can, All you've got to do is give it to um, an, uh, and these companies that they get an actor or somebody. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. No, 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 no. I think but you should read it yourself. Yeah. It's in my mind. Yeah, your, I want your words in your voice. Your words, yeah, your yeah, voice, because yeah. you recalling those stories would yeah. be much different from somebody just yeah. reading it. Yes, and you notice the book. You will notice the book having some newspaper clippings from back those days, mm -hmm. and some pictures from back then, just to assure persons of the authenticity of some of, of the things right, we right, talk right. about. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. All right, well, there you have it, folks. You know, from the man himself, the our oh, national hero. Yes, we're streaming on social media, and they they they, 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 they they love you. Oh, all yes. people yeah, following it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> watching, yes. Okay, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the the cover. I mean, people can see the cover, but the, the, the cover has a specific. You see the two photographs mm -hmm. of the cover. I wish I could have gotten an even younger one. But those that the top one, of course, my early days in politics. You notice I had hair. I had hair. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know? man. Those are the days you had a lot of hair, the type. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. And then, um, from then, right, to know when the hair is gone and all the the, the session and stuff would come in, right? But it's just so symbolic of the of the journey yeah, from here yeah. to here. Mm. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, we've come to the end of this wonderful segment here on LNT. We'll we actually have more coming up in store. Yes, we do. So we'll we'll pause for a quick break.
and then get back with some more conversation. Thank you very much, Dr. Um, right. Simmons, and we hope to see you again soon. All right. <laughs> I'll, be, uh, I'll be amenable. <laughs> <laughs> different we're 98.9 98.9 win fm Welcome back to Island Tea with your face, Kevin and Amali, and we are now joined by the I think it's Anivis Carnival Committee. What? what? Excuse me? No, Bro, so this is Let wrong. You country. don't know who you, you don't. This is wrong. My bad. Dude, you don't know. You're sitting this. next yeah, to Royal. Well, yeah, but I was reading <laughs> the headline. So, Jade. Oh, Jade Fall. It. It. Jade Fall. <laughs> oh, it is definitely not wrong. I, am I? Am I? Am I? Oh. Okay. I know what it's not, but it's not one. Okay, no problem. So I confused now. You see why we confusion? <laughs> you see why we confusion? Okay. <laughs> we are joined in studio <laughs> by two Calypsonians. Uh, we have Godfrey. Yeah. Who is here with us, as well as King Craig. Who is also joining us here in studio this morning? So it's not the carnival committee. Okay. It is not the carnival okay, committee. Okay. So but they're here because it is carnival time. Yeah. We're representing, we're representing the carnival committee. Okay. Oh, you are? I'll, I'll take that. We represent them for today. Mom- oh, okay. Momentarily. Okay. Momentarily. Exactly. momentarily. Okay. So <laughs> she's not completely wrong, just semi wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. What's, What's happening in, in 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 the world of Calypso? Well, um, it's, you know, it's, we're getting prepared for the Calypso finals mm-hmm. on, the, on the 29th. Mm-hmm. Um, you're seeing two of the, the finalists. finalists who finest finalists. 
the finest finalists. Yeah, finest of the finalists. <laughs> we are hoping that is the final. We are hoping that is the finalist. You know, we, we've moved from eight to sixteen to now twenty-one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's hope that that's the final. That's the, the final. finalist. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's it's preparation time for the finals. Um, I for sure, for me, it's been a different experience. We now have to compete in a virtual realm. Mm-hmm. We now have restrictions as to what we can do on the night. No props, no physical, no really, no yeah. audio, no video props. Pure talent. Each man for himself. Come, <laughs> come sing, deliver, and try and win the crown. But let me ask you okay, about that specifically, because that is something that uh, I'm wondering how the Calypsonians feel about the change. Um, and I, I know it's different across the board, but personally, um, the two things that I find very interesting is one, um, the restriction on, on, on props this year. Um, also, the fact that now you're doing one song. Um, how, do you, how do you guys feel about that? Do you think it... it, it it helps your chances. Uh, is it something that you, you you're excited about? Not so much. Like, how do you feel about those two things? Well, I personally, I'm very excited about the no props. Really? Yeah, we singing. It's a calypso competition, not a bouncing Williams production. <laughs> you understand? And I know some guys because they have it. They will pay something like three, four thousand dollars to get some props. Some props, and, and, and some guy, they name guy to put those six hundred dollars for a CD. Right. You understand? So it levels the playing field. Level the playing field. Okay. From that, I get it. I get We're it. We're singing calypso. We're not dramatizing calypso. So I love it very much, and I wish it could stay like that forever. Uh, maybe <laughs> you know, maybe me. it might level the playing field permanently. Yeah, it, it's, it's a singing competition, not a bouncing William acting <laughs> production. <laughs> oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> well, I could understand um, Godfrey's point of view, but um, you know, there are some Calypsonians who perhaps do help. Yeah, very much. Um, and so you know. It's a give and take. For me personally, I, for the majority of my my singing career, I have been singing without any props. It's only in the few, the last couple of years, I've started to invest in doing a little thing on um, mm. presentation. Um, I think for the virtual show, it probably could have enhanced the show. Um, you know, you have to get your energy from somewhere. You're mm-hmm. singing in front of a smaller crowd. I could remember the first time stepping on stage for the senior Calypso competition. And when I stepped out on the stage, <laughs> people for days, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. coming from the junior into the senior, first time, straight to the finals, step out on the stage and people for days. You're fighting, you were fighting. Whoa. Whole, whole new experience, whole new experience. If, if you go back and try and find that, that recording, when I came out, I, my first words was supposed to be, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If you listen closely, you would hear, good evening. Mm. <laughs> because, good Lord, good Lord was coming out, you know. <laughs> but, but I listen to the show every day and that's the way you talk normally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was, I was scared. Trust me. I mean. So you're still scared. <laughs> <laughs> but even though I was scared, I, I and, and first time in the finals, I played second one up. So let me, let, let me be scared. Who was the judge? Your family? Scared. <laughs> <laughs> being, being scared. Hey, I'm leaving. <laughs> I am leaving. Keep going, eh? We no, no. <laughs> <laughs> being scared puts me up there, so maybe he needs to get scared sometimes, oh, so he, he can, he can reach up there. <laughs> <up here. laughs> No, 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 I can't be scared on stage. I don't expect nothing when I sing. I, for all my years, I sing, the very first year I sing politics. And a, poli- uh, a Calypsonian politician, I'm going to put it that way. Right. N- hardly place, hardly place, ha- couldn't. Yeah, keep going, man. Hardly place could never go on easy. Mm. Yeah. So when I go to sing on stage, I sing for the fans. Mm-hmm. I want to please. I please. Mm-hmm. I could come last. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. So when I go, I, I don't go tense. 
I see guys back to for the You just here yeah, to have some fun. Yeah, to play the crowd and right. why I get I check. <laughs> because I didn't expect them to come, God be who touching the Prime Minister and this and that. Well, this year might be different because everybody's shot that I sing for it all and the politics. Yeah, but that's I was about to I was about to ask that because you you generally you generally sing the political calypsos. Is there still? Is there still? Yeah, but this year you enter the competition with your song um, tribute to to Ayatollah. Let me give you a verse one. Big political football all over the country between the Labour team and Team Unity. They packing up the boots, getting ready for the big showdown. Playing football with the issues. Kicking them around, they say unity, play football with mole and crime, along with sabotage, so the plane couldn't reach on time. But while they crying, foul, saying it's cheating, it's the same old political football they now playing. <laughs> they kicking it, they kicking it, the same political football, even the one crime gone down. Is the same old song that is been sung. The goal is to win the game. So they playing it dirty just the same. They kicking it, they kicking it. The same political football, the high school mole problem has come back to haunt team unity. The labor team now using it to score points to win the big trophy. You think they care about crime and mole? All of them looking to find the goal, dribble it. Dribble it. <laughs> the same political football, dribble it, <laughs> kick it, score it, goal, that is all, that is all, political football, that's one was. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that's why he can win. <laughs> <laughs> that was your longer, the that, no, that was longer than my song. <laughs> no, 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 he was in the course. He was in the course. But um, but but Craig, Ooh. even your song, I must say, I must say, I, I listen to this, I listen to you uh, perform in the tents, and again at the um the quarterfinals and the the arrangement of your song, I think is 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 top class. Um, they tell us a little bit about the the construction of your song this year. Um, y- y- your topic as well as, as who did the music and like I said I mean even people in the crowd was talking about just the arrangement of the song and it being so masterful well um, the topic came up while I was home on lockdown I mean last year my topic would would have centered around perfect a perfect 2020 and then here comes corona so I'm, I'm say this year I decided to to um, sort of apologize for giving people the impression that 2020 was perfect, was mm-hmm. going to be perfect. Um, the arrangement was done by the master funk out of St. Martin. Um, he, when, I, when I got the first draft, he, he sent him to ask, um, how, how you like this? Uh, my response was, when, you, when you're going to finish. <laughs> <laughs> and just to clarify, we're talking about Fung Gums, the, 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 the mastermind uh, with 17 plus. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, you know, I loved it immediately, you know, and I've been getting a lot of reviews, good reviews on it, and people love the, the arrangement. I'm hoping that the five people will be judging me next week. We love it just as much, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, but you never know what happens on the night. The the um, sitting down and coming up with it's it's it was a co- collaboration between myself and um, King Baker as as well. Mm. The, the lyrics out of Saint Martin. I've I've been fortunate over the years to have many kings willing to work with me. You know, I've had. Um, King Fancy, the King Elimat, Richie Bunting, King Socrates, King Ayatollah, all these guys uh, worked with me writing, um, you know, over the years. <coughs> so I've been fortunate. King Z- Zakari out of Antigua, um, the mighty, uh, what's his name, Shaq out of Trinidad. You know, I've, I've had a lot of um, kings come and support some unsolicited people just let, just love to hear my delivery want to come and help so it's no different this year um mm-hmm. again my my aim although we we compete to win 
it's not really about the winning. You would want to win, but if you don't win, as long as you you please the fans, yeah, and contribute you know, to, and to, contribute to yeah, Calypso. Tanya, yeah. I mean, I mean Calypso. I started singing in '87, and at the junior high school, and my talent for the sh the, that show was supposed to be pan. <laughs> The practices wasn't coming as the, the teachers would have liked. And so somebody knock up a calypso gave me to sing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the rest is history. The rest is history. You know, I went on, I won the school show, went down to the park. At the time it was Mr. and Mr. Talent, Mrs. Talented Teen. Mm -hmm. We won that. Went to the junior competition. Somebody probably decide the amount of things he don't win, he gonna need a, a trailer. Mm -hmm. To go over the prizes, them so <laughs> give him a first one, or <laughs> you know, and I've you know, over the years, I've been trying to uh, master the art of you know, delivery. Very shy guy growing up, and so you know, it's still hard to get out of that. But I think the, the, the competitions that I've entered and the crowns that I have won have helped to build the confidence. You know, the community crowns, the villager ramas, the gutter rama. Um, even now, as when I won the first my first national crown in 2016, and that for me was the hallmark. I mean, after that, as I, I told myself, I could retire now. I mean, having won the that year, never winning a junior crown, but having my son win the junior crown the same year. Same year, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. right. You know, that was it for me. That was the icing yeah. on the cake. Yeah. That yeah. was the icing on the cake. But, but you didn't retire, so... No, I didn't retire. retire. And and since that, I went, I went on and I, I won the independence, the independence soccer crown the following year. I won the extempo crown last year. Mm. And so, and I'm going to win the national crown again this year. Oh, okay then. <laughs> God for you. Guys. You, you got something to say. And I, go, <laughs> yeah, I want everybody like when y'all start abusing each other. So please be my guest. No. <laughs> no, he, he watched me like. He, no, oh, you want no, no. You see, the thing about it, right? Look at Craig for me. <laughs> Show me something on Craig to abuse. <laughs> Nothing to abuse. <laughs> talk is free. <laughs> In the democratic country, let's talk. <laughs> Talk cheap with the cost money. <laughs> so, uh, you see, you hear him say talking about the thing, Craig gonna be scared final night, and that's the advantage I have over Craig. He gonna be panicking. <laughs> crowd, no crowd, that thing. This thing under pressure. Check <laughs> Queen G the other night. The best song in the competition as far as I can say. Grumble the first two words, but then, the lack of experience. I know we don't continue and then lose points for the first two lines like Grumble. Then I know the song is so good that Queen Eiji have that she would have made it in. But what she did, when she realized what she did, she said, come from the top. Once you go from the top, they stop judging. Once you stop singing. Yeah, once you, stop, once you start to sing and you stop, mm. they stop judging. I said, that's written, said that. So, 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 I, 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 I so, so if the band play the wrong key, if, if the band play the wrong key, do not start to sing. Stop them and start again. You don't start to sing and stop. And that's the blunder she make. Yeah, she could have continued to sing away and reach in. I know that mm. the song but, is strong enough. Mm. But guys, um, uh, you know, I think this year in particular, because of the nature of of you know how we're doing the carnival, the whole virtual thing, and the fact that a lot of things are being being kept this year, um, things like the pageants not happening this year, um, you know, so common. I think that because Calypso, um, will. will was given this stage um, that there's been a lot of attention brought to Calypso. Um, I think a lot of people who generally would not consume Calypso mm -hmm. have been consuming Calypso because well, it, not only just the fact that it's, it's probably one of the only things happening, but it's been presented. I think Calypsonian stepped up to the plate a lot. I think the Carnival Committee put things in place to really present it in a package that people could really palette. Um, how do you guys feel about the future of Calypso? in sync it's moving forward because you know people say well calypso there that calypso in this and calypso in that but i think that this year in particular we've seen that that may not gen not, may not necessarily be the case i personally don't think is that uh, why, why, why the, the calypso moving forward you know 
to, well, I just talking about my opinion. Mm -hmm. My opinion is that Calypso now have a, has a, a body, not a one man thing. For instance, I wasn't gonna sing this year. Last year was my last mm -hmm. period because I produced two songs and sing one for the semi-final for elimination. And I was the alternate, two of us was the alternate. So I didn't get to practice my second song. Go to the band house, the people them who made it to the semi-final, mm -hmm. come up with the last song. Most people only have one song, so they come up with the last song late. So they needed to practice. So I had to give them preference because they are the guests. So it happened that I didn't get to practice my second song mm. because I, nobody gonna jump out unless they gonna kill somebody. I mean, me really <laughs> willing to step up to the plate just for that little bit of money because I ain't gonna get fifteen thousand dollars just for four thousand. Ain't, ain't enough to kill somebody for. So therefore, I know I cannot sing the night, so I didn't get to practice. So not practicing, I didn't go to the show. You know, no mills and me as the alternate. I don't know where did the money. Me you know if you went there with it. So for that reason, I wasn't going to sing again. Let No Mills keep the money. But now, No Mills gone and Calypso, the committee has a body, not a one-man thing. Right? So I decided to come back and sing again. I don't care who works. No Mills didn't pay me last year. And wait, wait, imagine, wait, 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 imagine, <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine, imagine, <laughs> he didn't pay me. But he election just said he, election he, on the corner. He just said, he just said, uh, he went go work, but he wasn't paid. But he, this way he <laughs> went go work. Yeah, I, I, miss say, I can't go work if I ain't got a tool because I'm practice. You say your aid come to the Why show. Why come? If somebody jump up, could I sing and then practice second song? I can't even sing good. Never mind your acapella. Very well. Very well. I can't sing without music. So then, when I got music, I, so just, what, I just barely sound good. Never mind without music. So you got what you barely sound good. What is your premise? Oh, so you're defending no? No, I'm not defending no. I'm defending you. Why? I'm trying to figure so out. So you think you okay, yes, think okay, I yes, I'm defending you. Yeah, and you think so I why? And you think I shouldn't get paid? That's what I'm trying to get at. Why should you get paid? Because I made the place. But, for hold, on, but, hold on, hold on, hold on. But what is going to do the future of Calypso? <laughs> I don't know. That's wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me finish. <laughs> I, 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 I went to the minister. I went to the minister for constituency aid, Mr. Hamilton, because he is my representative. For him to probably go, talk to Sean for thing. You know what he tell me? Take a go to a lawyer. And, and simple that I decided I ain't gonna vote for my vote for Joe and I don't care. <laughs> I can hear representing. Why? Why? What I had expect Mr. Hamilton to do is to fool me. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Mr. Grant. Ma fool me. <laughs> okay. People are gonna fool me. Fool me. But he didn't tell to fool me. He didn't explain. He can't help me. So back, liar. back to the future, <laughs> of Calypso. The future of Calypso. Yeah. I, I I think as long as as long as we have Calypsonians who um, are willing to sing, Calypso will not will never die. Um, Calypso. The only thing that can ki kill Calypso is Calypsonians. I know. Right. I know, right. I know. No, nobody, no, I know. no chairman who is not competing, no chairman who is not, who is not judging, no chairman who is not doing anything could stop no, and a Calypsonian. No, and the chairman no more, but no, represent, he is still, he represented no, they were friends. <laughs> No, send him to carry Festa. Since you want me to him, I'll come back to him. We beg our friends. We beg our friends. We beg our friends. I want him to take it for us. No, no, no. I wish no one sent me to so. I I, 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 I follow you. No, no. You see? <laughs> And that 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 probably was one of my downfalls. <laughs> Having no as my friend, cause I, I could have been three and four crown instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, so that because everybody against no, they give me the crown. No, no, no. You telling me? You telling me you could have win the crown three times because no is a friend. No, you, I'm you saying, have no, I'm saying you have no other friend. If no was that, my friend, I might have been three or four. But hear times. me, you were no friend. Mm. No wasn't your friend. Oh, okay. I thought you would have won. Okay. <laughs> You gotta start counting your friends. You have friends and acquaintances and different oh, things. Oh boy! But, but, they, but I said no. Give me the first crown. I said he gave me the crown. I ain't said that. I said he sent you Kawi Fester. <laughs> and he didn't sing. <laughs> he didn't sing the E, and he went to represent sing it. But hey. Kawi Fester, am I lying? I can't substantiate uh, I lie. that. You're lying. You're lying. I can't. I can't okay, okay, you sang the E. If I sing the E. Yeah, in the competition. Yeah. Where you came? Uh, second second one up. Second one up. What happened the first one up in the king? Sorry, let me I move on. Let me move on. I went as a reading soccer monarch. 
All right, guys, so, guys, so, okay. we got two more minutes. Okay. Okay, we, we got two, two more minutes, minutes. so we're going to wrap it up. Come, come, behave. But, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I felt proud now, man. But, I mean, the point that you made, Craig, I think is the point that um, is, 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 is very important. Ooh. I think that Calypso in itself as an art form is more than carnival, the committee, or even the competition. It's, it's, a, it's an art form. It's something that I think should be um, all your own. I think it's something that we have to continually, um, you know, boost among the young people. I think the, that's why I think the junior competition is something that is very, very important to the to the future of Calypso. Um, and so, I'm hoping that that after this year, especially with the with the 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 attention that's being put on the, on, on the art farm and on the show, that we really see, you know, rejuvenation, more young people getting involved, more shows happening throughout the year not just during the carnival time and, and, and more Calypsonians. I really made a point, um, I think it was last week, about the Calypso and wanting to see the, the, the production of the Calypso songs, you know, like to see that step up uh, more than, a lot of the times the only recording of some of these songs is either in the, from the tents or the competition, you know, so these are the things that I think really need to happen to try and continually boost the art form. Mm. Um, I mean, what you say, you want live hands? Live on in all the songs. <laughs> with, with this keyboard stupidness. And then you cost money, maybe you may blame it, are you? And then you cost money to go to go hand section in the studio to play a song, but you know. Yes, we yes. get there. It costs <laughs> money in the studio too. With, yeah, for, that's for, what I mean. For the keyboard, yeah. No, for the keyboard. Yeah, but it costs less. Guys, one man. Yeah, one, yeah, man. One, one man. One yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. One man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you hire a man with talent talent to bloody heart, the sax, the trombone. You hear the man don't argue about the six hundred dollars too much. Is it you? Han. <laughs> Six hundred dollars can't be too much. I spent twelve hundred dollars for two songs last year and didn't get back nothing. That's what I'm saying. You, 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 you're complaining now. You want me to go back to that now? You're complaining. So you're going to go up to twenty one hundred instead of twelve. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. But guys, um, you know, this has been a, a, a really, a really informative. But before you, before you, yeah, go, you, go you go off of the, the Calypso thing, um, you know, I've been trying to preach for the junior... Calypsonians to be given more. Um, I don't want to say recognition, incentive mm. to singing, for singing. Right. You know, even at the, the junior level, there is a hurdle right now that you can't sing if you're making 18 the year. Yeah. You can't sing in the senior if you're not 18. If you're not 18. So there's a hole. There's so a gap. There's, there's a gap. Mm. And it only takes one year missing singing for a youth to decide. Uh, I mean, going back again. Right. That's right. true. You know? That's true. That's true. There must be the easy can, flow. Can sit, yeah, can. From the time you reach to a, a, a point where you can't sing in the junior, you're supposed to be able to sing in the senior. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. But, yes. Anyway, yeah. unfortunately, we have to wrap up because okay. people abusing me, I mean, I'm going to do this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if before you, you do you that. If you're arguing, and, then, and then, as I'm trying to come out, yeah, we just... <laughs> <laughs> Put this guy out, dude. Anyway, before you go, um, the, the, this song, this song for, that's singing this year for Ayatollah. Hey, the same thing we have to go? <laughs> I know, we're we going. It, 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 came up, it came up in the funeral. This is his show now, you know? Yeah, because yeah. everybody asks me, you singing for Ayatollah? I said, no, nobody asks me. Different people say, every nigga, you go over there, you sing? I said, no. Mm. Then I said, but you ain't sing for Ayatollah, nobody asks you. I said, you could sing for the bad boy king. And you know, we didn't believe that was the lyrics in the song. Mm. Sing for Ayatollah and sing for the bad boy king. Because people asking me, you singing for Ayatollah? Then I said, no. Then I said, but you could sing for the bad boy king. And that's the lines people like And that's where the, 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 the lyrics the, develop. The, the punch layer. Mm. Sing for the bad boy king. <laughs> sing for the... Anyway, we got to go. You take it, you take it easy. No, you, you, <laughs> but you ain't come yet. Are we going? Anyway, uh, hold on, mercy. <laughs> before we do that quickly, if, if, because if we don't do this, I can get cuss out. Um, friend of the show, mentioned I've here before. Alyssa, happy birthday! You listen every morning. You know, but it is today too. So happy birthday to to to, to you. You love know, you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. One of our one of our soccer kings, the honourable Mister Bagnall. Oh. Happy birthday, Mister Bagnall. Happy happy birthday, Yanos. Amali. Whoa. Take us out, please. And before you take us take out, us out with, 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 with the tea. No, no. With the, um, the tea. Um, because no, you ain't got no, a mug. No, no. Before you say you ain't got a mug. But you can't say, tell me my line if me ain't say it yet. But I know the line. <laughs> hey. But Hello. You, I want, Hello. I want to give my line now. The main reason why I was glad to come because... You have to go. Yeah, because... Okay. Okay, my prim says she have to go, so we're going, right? Because I come because Jade said, you tell me Jade said, Folks, come, come, come. that brings us to the man. end <laughs> <laughs> of this very strange episode of Eventim. <laughs> 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 
You see, I know they will walk out before we finish. No, I'm going to respect. Ah, oh, you're Craig. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then you want to come king. Joy, you see. And you're come king too. Huh? <laughs> and I realize the king Craig and mighty God, and God free, but it's all right. It's drive safely. Come, 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 come. Don't drink and drive. I don't drive. <laughs> Indicate in the roundabout. Don't overtake in the roundabout. Look out for our sanitary workers. Don't pack your cars responsibly. And don't forget. You could go ahead. I'll give you, you could say it for me. Don't carry you can't be everybody cup of tea because I'm not a mug. Ah, 